Khalil believes that us protesting a genocide outside his office that he barricades from us, he believes that that diminishes democracy because there are other more important issues that people need to come to his office about? Something more important than genocide? Okay, now that uh, uh, Bir Khalil mentioned the Egyptian card, I would also like to say that I'm also of Egyptian origin, and I'd like to say that I'm not with the genocide, and I stand with the right of Palestinians to resist and to get their, um, their freedom that they deserve. And I would also say that the vast majority of Egyptians in diaspora or back in Egypt, the vast majority stand with the right of Palestinians to resist and to get their freedom back, despite their, um, despite their traitor government. <laughs> We want to highlight pro-Palestine council candidates because I don't know, for some of you who don't know, council elections are going to be coming up in October. And in fact, one of the incredible things that has happened has been the level of local activism that has emerged in response to Palestine. There are local groups that exist everywhere, including in, um, including in Heidelberg, Doncaster, Durban, and even Dangong. So, Peter Halil wants us to stop protesting outside his office because he says he and the government support a ceasefire. No, they don't. That's right, that was going to be my next answer. No, what are they doing to get a ceasefire? Nothing. Zero, nothing, not a zip. <laughs> There's not a single sanction on Israel from Australia. And then Peter Halil goes on with some other arguments to disparage our movement. Now, one thing which Mohammed held me, that was a great quote that you read out, which shows what Peter Halil really thinks. He's trying to make people question what they're seeing um, by trying to say this is all manipulated. But actually, the what we know, the people who are doing the manipulation is the Zionists and Israel. So Peter Khalil goes on record in a newspaper, essentially saying that his constituents are all... Uh, we have no head for the practical realities of a genocide. He is essentially saying that there are some complexities that warrant genocide. I mean, that, that's the only way that that can be interpreted. So what about the rest of us? Uh, I don't see anyone who's rich or famous or powerful here. Um, what do we do? For me, the answer is in unions and community organising, in treating democracy not just as a vote that we take once every four years, um, but the things that we do every single day in our workplaces uh, and coming together like this wherever we can. But one of the most disturbing things that has happened in these past several months has been the escalation of conflict in the Middle East. And you know who the cause is? It is the United States and Israel. They're not doing anything to try and get a ceasefire. We actually want politicians who actually take action to get a ceasefire to end the siege, end the genocide. That's what we want.